Hi, good Friday morning, everybody. How are you all doing? It's Tina with Rhapsody in Ribbons. I hope everyone is having a blessed Friday. It's nice and sunny here in Michigan, but the furnace is still on. <clears throat> I keep it about 68, 69, but it's still on, so it's cool. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> and, um, yeah, anyway, how are you all doing? I've missed you all so much. And today we're going to do that Sissel Bunny wreath that I told you about. So if you're new to my channel and you're just clicking on the first time, I hope you'll hit that subscribe button, the bell button for every time I upload a video. Um, to all my subscribers who've been with me forever, thank you so much. I appreciate your love and support you more than you'll ever know. So <laughs> today we're going to do um, this one which is this Sissel Bunny, okay, it's adorable. And you're gonna need, I chose this color mesh, so it's like pink, white, and a pretty lime green. You're gonna need two rolls of that. You're gonna need a warp wreath form. Um, you're gonna need ribbons of your choice. So I did go ahead and cut my ribbons up, so I'm gonna use this Swiss polka dot this stripe, this solid pink right here, and then this one. So I've cut my ribbons, I've made my bow, and oh, I just wanna show you guys a couple things I got yesterday. Well, I made a special trip to Michael's because I wanted this, guys, look. But they only had two which is more than enough to make a wreath but i wanted this six seven rolls i wanted to make a pastel christmas tree this year so a whimsical looking tree that's what i wanted this for so i'm going to check out their website see if they still have it and then order some and then i just got a styrofoam ball for my flower centers so there's my receipt, and then, oh, I went into Big Lots looking for a sign, and look what I found, guys. So cute, and he was $9. So he's plain on this side, but he's going to be adorable on a wreath. I don't know about you guys, but I love Easter. I really do. Okay. So here's another receipt. Don't lose your receipts, girl. And then I don't know what's in here. Ouch. Okay. Oh, yeah. So um, their ribbon was 50% off. So I picked up two of these bunnies, and this is like a till. And then I used what else? Oh, the pink that I'm going to use. Um, I got two rolls of that. That was my quick shopping haul. And my Maltese is in here with me. They wouldn't let me shut the door. They're scratching at the door. So, okay, so we're gonna get started. <clears throat> and of course, you guys know, I've already done <clears throat> the bottom, so we're just gonna do the top. So I'm gonna go ahead and put you down. Make sure you guys can see what we're doing. Let me move him out of the way for a minute. Okay, so <clears throat> we are going to do the cruffle or the woodland ruffle, whatever you guys want to call it. Guys, so this is an empty mesh roll, okay? So I am just going to use this to roll. Guess what? Your curls will be all the same length. So you're not gonna have some smaller curls, some bigger curls. They're gonna be um, perfectly even. I'm like, wow, I had an empty roll. I'm like, sometimes, you know, you get the curls and they're just not in right. Or some are too small, some are too big, and then you're just going to make your cruffle. Okay, now this work wreath form has 18 ties on it, but
but on the bottom I had to go in and put two extra because there was such um, a big space. So I'm just going to go ahead and tie that in. Let's move on to the next. Lay it down. Okay, what did I do with my... Oh, there it is. <laughs> okay, so just put your empty thing there and just go over it. About four or five rolls. This mesh is nice because when you pin it in the center, the, the green is in the center, so it's, it's kind of nice. So then you're going to have even cur ruffles or curls with your ruffles. Ingenious idea, huh? <laughs> Okay, and then I'm just laying it in my twist tie, giving it about two or three good twists because we're going to be adding the ribbons. They're in my way. Let me move them out of my way for right now. Set them over there. Oh, did you leave, Blizzard? Yeah, as soon as I shut the door. that. You can use a close pin if you don't have these. I got those clips at Dollar Tree. My husband's been using them for his gardening stuff. I'm like, ugh. Okay. There's your carpal. Go to your next tie. I don't think I'll need to add any more to the top, but we will see. Because, like, there's some, like I said, on these, they're elevated, and they don't have, sometimes they don't have enough of twist ties on them. So. Uh-oh. What's new, everybody? Are you getting spring weather where you're at? Is Florida warming up at all? I heard they were having some cold weather, like 50s and 60s. To me, oh gosh, I love that weather. Try it out. Use this. I love that idea. And then you have nice perfect size curls. And just slide it out and then ruffle, ruffle, ruffle. Color is so pretty, the pastels, I love it. We just got a couple more guys. <clears throat> this little back is killing me. It's just much easier to stand when you're working on a wreath for me than sitting. 
I guess depending on what you're doing. But this back. So Monday, you know, my doctor said, what are you going to do about your back? And I just can't make up my mind. A lot of people are telling me don't do it. Other people are telling me that um, they had good success. Now, <clears throat> if I would, I would go to Cleveland Clinic in Ohio. They specialize in backs. Um, I think I would trust them. But just from what they're saying as far as the recovery, it's a it's a gonna be a complicated surgery. You're gonna have rods in your back, which you're gonna lose mobility, and I already have that in my neck. Um, and really I have a hard time moving my neck. And the pain didn't go away. So One more, guys. This is perfect for a 10 inch roll. If you're using 12 inch roll, then say your 12 inch roll. If you're going to do cruffles. You know, I haven't made a pancake wreath yet for people that have, you know, really small doorways. And that's something I'm going to want to do too. Because I hear that a lot at craft shows. Oh, my door, there's no space. And um, so I've been watching them on Pinterest, uh, some of the pancake wreaths. They're just adorable. <laughs> okay, sorry about that. Okay, so here we are. All nice and full. Um, so I think I'm going to go ahead and put the ribbons on first. Okay. So, just get your ribbons. And I cut my ribbons at 12 inches. Find your half. And just tie them in. So I'm probably going to end up cutting off them twist ties, and I'm hoping that I have some pale colored um, Easter eggs to put in the middle. Oh, I know what. I got the um, foam glass filler. Wow, how come that one's so much longer? Oh, we'll just have to cut that off a bit. Okay. <laughs> there we go. Fold it in half. Find your middle. Give that a couple good twists. Fluff out your ribbons however you want them. Okay, like this. And the polka dot. Hot this time. Fold it in half. Yeah, that doctor's office and me keep playing phone tag about scheduling my endoscopy. I was hoping it would be this Tuesday, but now I'm thinking no, because this is already Friday. This is going to be a really pretty full wreath. Oh, I'm going to be a couple pieces short on the ribbon just because I forgot I added them too. That's okay. I can go back and do those later. 
Whoops, just these guys, guys. Sometimes see what I'm doing. Sometimes I don't pay attention because I'm yakking. Oh my goodness. Well, I went out yesterday and my hair had so much gray. I pulled it back on the top. I'm like, oh no. So this morning I washed them grays out of my hair. But the bad thing is I can't bleach it because if you go back and look at my last few videos in a few months, you'll see that I bleached my hair about four or five times and it was falling out. So <clears throat> I got to lay off the bleach for a while. So it's going to just stay my natural color. <clears throat> this is so pretty. And I don't know if I said, but I cut these at um, 12 inches. Middle. And I'll go around after the wreath is done and re-fluff them. I'm not going to make you watch me fluff ribbons. I hear someone sniffing under my door. <laughs> it's probably me, girl. They need haircuts, guys. I'm waiting a couple more weeks because they shiver. Because I get them cut really short. Their hair grows so fast. And when you're taking three to the groomers, it's expensive. really love that mesh oh my god and the girl said somebody came in and bought all of it the two rolls I'm like why do people do that that's the first time I've seen this I really love it and I thought that would be so pretty because they sell the pastel lights at Christmas so I thought you know what that'd really be pretty Going anywhere today? Are you guys doing anything? with the ribbon just going around the bottom okay I don't think I have enough cut for the top what the heck don't I know how to count all right well I'll just put in a couple just take this one right here I didn't cut enough of this or this one. Why? Ew, that's a funky dovetail. <laughs> I still like the big old full wreaths, I really do. But I have a stone door too, so. You know, a pancake wreath would be good for me, too.
I know a lot of you um, want to contact me and send me um, cards or letters or whatever, so I am going to open up a P.O. box. Um, but for my subscribers who've been with me for a long time, I just <coughs> go ahead and give them uh, my address. Okay, do I have any more of that pink? Sorry, guys. I gotta clean my craft room today. Why did I not cut enough of that? I don't know. Okay. Just gonna be a couple short on that. On this one, I think I'm gonna put this one on top. Yeah, I'll just short a couple. Guys, stop! It's like they can't amuse themselves without their mama. Dad's taken a nap because he was up all night. So I picked him up some melatonin. Did he take it? Nope. I said it's drug free because he doesn't take anything. God bless him. He doesn't have high blood pressure. Nothing. It must be because he has such a good life with me. <laughs> I don't know. We'll see. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> My sinuses are just draining and draining. All right. Okay, well, I'm going to stop with the ribbons. <clears throat> I guess I can go one on the other side. And then put the other one in there. Let's put these in here. Because now we're going to put on Sissel Bunny. Okay, so maybe I can cover him. All right, let's just move these out. Oh, where is he? <clears throat> so all I did, guys, with him was I came back here and just stuck a wire right through his um, hat because this is like a meshy. So now I need to figure out where I want to put him. Do I want them to be in the middle? Or the middle of the ring? What do you guys think? Yes, I think so. So, let me go down and find the wreath frame. And I'll just tie him lightly on there what he looks like. I don't know if I'll have to tie another one or not. This is, isn't it cute? Yeah, I'm probably going to go ahead and tie another one right under his bow, but for time purposes of the video, I'm not. And then I just made um, this little, and I got this ribbon yesterday too at Michael's. So, just tied, made that little bow. Let's see where I'm missing. Where I'm missing um, tails. Let me see where we can find. Where are we at? What time? Oh, we're good. I'm going to put it there. <coughs> Pardon me, guys. <coughs> I'm going to take a sip of water. sinuses they were just bleeding and <coughs> draining oh, do we want to put the bow down there uh, off to the side 
Let's see what we can do. <coughs> I am so sorry, guys. It's terrible. One thing I'm happy about, I lost seven pounds, thank God. <coughs> because as you know, Weight Watchers has been closed over a year. And with this COVID, it was like, I just don't care. I, I, I just don't. I guess comfort food. And this is cute. And here's another thing, guys, if you want to Curl up your tails. This is what I always do. I know a lot of them do it with their fingers. I just like to use this. So you can curl your tails up. <coughs> Pull them down. And these are two little tails. I don't know if I like them like that or not, but let me turn you back up. So I can show you. Oh my gosh. Isn't he cute? So I'm going to look. I got a ton of Easter stuff. And then I'm going to go in and cut my um, bees off. Okay. Oh, let me see if I can get it handy dandy here. I got these which I can glue right in the middle. So this is the little base filler that I got. So I think that's what I'm gonna do. And that's it. There's Mr. Bun Bun. Cute, I love him. Oh guys, I hope you enjoyed this video today. I really enjoyed making it for you. Um, to one of my subscribers was asking me about the cross I'm working on. <laughs> So, Pam, this is as far as I got. So, I, as soon as I get these two sections done and then this, and then I'm working on um, putting the flower center in and then covering this center with a bow. So, um, I, I am going to try to get that done. And, yeah, so... With that, guys, thank you so much. Um, I hope you're with people you love and people who love you back. If you're sick, you're in my prayers. If you need a special prayer, just let me know. I will put that out on my channel. You guys are in my prayers each and every day and night. Um, <clears throat> I love you all so much. You guys know that. Um, if I can do anything to help, if you have a question, whatever, <clears throat> um, I'm here for you. And um, I think that's it. I don't know when we'll do the next video. I might go ahead and work on this cross and try to get it done. And um, But I still haven't been working on my taxes, and I need to go drop those off soon. So i got to work on those. Um, the end of the year is always a pain in the butt. But um, with that, guys... Let's say a prayer for our men and women serving in the U.S. military, for our frontline workers, our police officers, our nurses, our doctors, um, anybody who's in the front line dealing with COVID every single day. Um, uh, you know, when I went, oh, not to change the subject, but I went to the doctor's Monday and the technician that came in told me she, had, she just got over COVID. She's taking my blood pressure and it's sky high. Well, uh, how, oh, you just told me you got a, over COVID. And then there were three other people in the office that got COVID. So um, I guess that was in November and my doctor just 
worked and took calls, you know, basically and stuff like that. But yeah, of course my blood pressure went up. Somebody tell you you have COVID. Um, I'm sorry. I'm just weird about it. Um, yeah, my one stepson had to come up, come over the other night. And him, him and my husband stayed in the garage because my little Nathan, um, you know, he doesn't take it seriously. And at 24, I probably wouldn't either as much, you know. And so, um, yeah, that. So, anyways, guys. God bless this country and those who seek to destroy it. God help us all. And with that, and as I always say, ciao.